Okay, I have moved the equipment to a position in the bathtub. And as you can tell, there's the cushion down inside the tub and it's flat. You can see the uh, hose coming up out of the tub. And what I've done is I moved it, the compressor, into a position over here in this bedroom. The idea being you want it in a different uh, room, a distant location, so there's no chance of having any kind of a, a electrical problem. So now, again from a distance, I will use the remote control device to start the compressor, which begins moving air through the air line. To the cushion which is in the tub. And this would be preparation work to give somebody a bath. You'd be getting the situation prepared. Again you need to make sure and uh, close this valve here so that no air is escaping. Wait for approximately two and a half minutes. This is designed so that it's about the right width. This cat just loves to see things. It's about the right width for most bathtubs. When this is inflated, it's about 22 to 23 inches wide, which is the typical bathtub is between 22 and 24 inches. So this is big enough to where you can you know, move freely, but again, it's, it's pretty much centered in the tub and doesn't, uh, doesn't want to move too much back and forth. So allow this to become inflated. Kona, I don't think you're going to want to be here for this part. While this is inflating, Kona, why don't you jump down? This is a good time to put some water in the tub and make sure it's going to be the right temperature. Okay, now that I'm sure there's warm water coming out of the faucet, I'll just let the cushion inflate all the way up. Kitty cat, you are in the way. You can tell here by the way this is positioned that I have it pushed back a little bit too far. It's actually, Konas, kitty, kitty, you need to stay down. It's pushed back so far that it's actually leaning forward. If I were to move this forward a little bit, that helps to uh, make it a little bit more level. If you push it back too far, what you begin to do is cause it to rise in the back so it becomes unstable. So move it forward to the point, Kona, you just want to be in the way, don't you? To the point where it's flat and stable for the person when it comes time to use it. Uh, maybe I should do Kona on that. Now that the uh, compressor has uh, gone into the bypass mode, that tells me this cushion is fully inflated. So from this position here, stop the compressor and get ready to give a bath to the person who needs a bath. Well, since no one else is here for me to give a bath to, I will take a bath myself. <laughs> or at least go through the motions of giving myself a bath. Again, keep the push button close by in some position where it will stay dry. I'll set this outside the tub here where it's safe. I'm going to demonstrate a few things. First of all, earlier we talked about this. What this is, I discovered a, uh, a portable handle that can be attached to many different surfaces. In, in our case here, we have a handle on the tub. But quite often people have a bathtub without a handle. What this does is it gives the person on the cushion something to hold on to for a sense of balance and stability. It really shouldn't be relied on uh, to hold the weight of the person. It's, it's more for a sense of balance. So the idea is this works well if it's slightly wet. So I'm going to wet the surface. And then put it in a convenient position. In this case, I already have a handle here. So I'm going to put the handle over here instead. Oh, you can't see it there. 
How about if we pretend like this handle doesn't exist? And I'll put the handle here. If you push it on and lock it in place, <laughs> like this, it's not a flat surface. If you push it on and lock it in place, there we go. You notice that there are very small lines on the fiberglass finish. It has to be on a flat surface so that it stays. But then that will act as a support sense point of reference for the person taking a bath. Um, again, I talked before about having a cushion cover for it. So obviously when the person, person taking a bath is naked, they want uh, a little protection so that there's no cross-contamination from one person to the next or from one use to the next. So this is a small um, washable cushion, um, microfiber towel that can be used over and over again just after being laundered. So that's an option. I'll leave it there for now. The other option, you'll see when I actually use it, that this slides quite easily on the bottom of the tub. In a situation where you don't want it to slide for some reason, the person taking a bath feels uncomfortable, they don't have a good sense of balance, this is just a small slip resistant piece of fabric. This is actually meant to be the liner for a shelf or for a drawer. But you'll find that if you put this or a bath mat or something similar on the surface of the tub, that then becomes much more stable and much less likely to slip around. So any kind of a bath mat, any kind of a rubber surface stabilizes the cushion and keeps it accidentally slipping out and moving side to side. This will also make it extremely, dif extremely difficult for the person to slide forward though in the tub. So remember that if you use the, the rubber bath mat, this cushion basically is going to stay where you put it. So for the sake of this demonstration, I do not want this, so I'll remove it. Sit it off to the side. So for my case, I'm going to be taking a bath here by myself. Step into the tub. Get into a seated position where I feel comfortable. Again, I'm feeling this support across the back of my legs, my hips, so that I know I'm in the right position. Putting my feet forward, you can see that I can very easily balance. If uh, I had a caregiver here, they'd have their arm around me or on my shoulders to make sure I don't slip and move backwards suddenly. And again, the, the support, either up here, down below, even on the outside. Once this is wetted, so that the surface of the suction cup is wet, it'll pretty much stay put as long as it stays wet and it's on a perfectly flat surface. So for the sense of balance, you have this to hold on to in some position where the person feels comfortable. Again, I'm ready to take a bath, so I'm ready to open the valve and lower myself into the tub. As a caregiver or as the person taking the bath, it's also time to start the water. So I will push it closed. Start the water coming into the tub, nice warm temperature. And now so you can hear, I'm going to open this valve. And start lowering myself into the tub. I balance in the tub because the walls keep me more stable and keep me from slipping side to side or feeling uncomfortable. My legs out to the side keep me centered. My feet on the end keep me centered. The only real risk that you run in hazard is a person leaning backwards unexpectedly. So as long as the caregiver supports the person who keeps them from leaning backwards, it should be a very easy transition into the water.
point I can feel myself settling on the bottom of the cup. The water now is about four to five inches deep. Now there's a little bit of air left in the cushion, but for the most part, I'm settled down on the bottom of the tub. So, now that I'm sitting on the bottom of the tub, I, I feel secure. If the person wants to, they can lean backwards. Or whatever position they want to stay in. The idea being, when, you, when I move around, that cushion, I don't know if you can see it or not, I wish I could move the camera. That cushion moves with me. So that cushion stays right under my bottom. So when I want to lean backwards, I move backwards and the cushion stays right under me. Push my legs, push my bottom back up, and the cushion follows me back up again. So it makes it possible to have a nice enjoyable bath in any position that you want. And that cushion pretty much just stays underneath you like a, I don't know, a cushion on a couch. Like a little pillow under your bottom to, to let you know it's there. The rings on the outside at the bottom and the top also act as a point of reference. So while I'm sitting on it, I can feel it still underneath me. It's like sitting on a life preserver. I kind of feel that ring around me that's kind of holding me in the right place. Okay, now I'm in the tub that's full of water. I probably overfilled it a little bit because I had to get out and turn on the camera again. <laughs> You can see that I'm completely in the water. This is still sitting, uh, I'm sitting on top of it, it's underneath me. If I want to, I can move forward to a reclining position. I can still feel it underneath me, but because there's so much water in the tub, I'm like floating in the water. So it's much less of a, uh, a feeling of something under me with a full bathtub of water. And if you need to, at this point, you can easily lift the person up and relocate the cushion underneath them. So in case it's moved or slipped around, it can always be relocated. At any point, I'm near the end of the bath, so I want to sit back up again, pushing my bottom backwards. The cushion slides with me. And again, the tendency is to push back as far as you can. You don't want to come back as far as you can, because then I'm pushing against the back of the tub which is going to have a tendency to angle the cushion forward. So make sure it's on a flat surface underneath the cushion who's going to be lifted out of the tub. I reach down and open the valve to drain the, the tub. And either I or an assistant close by turns on the compressor. Oops. Forgot to close this valve. So I close the valve now and I can feel the cushion start to inflate. Again, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here waiting to be lifted up out of the tub. I should have said before I started inflating it, it helps to make sure that you're centered on the cushion. Reach back and, and feel that, that raised area back behind to make sure your bottom is where it's supposed to be. But a person with a good sense of balance, even if they're not exactly on center on the cushion, they you know, you can support your, your legs pushing backwards, and that will keep you in a position where you can be lifted up off the floor of the tub. And again, I want to emphasize, if you're in a situation where you're a caregiver assisting someone to get out of the tub, 
you need to be right here with the person as they come up out of the water. So in case they lose their balance or fall forward or feel uncomfortable for any reason, you can be there to grab their shoulders or you know support them with whatever needs to be done. Again, they have a handheld position over here where they can feel comfortable if they you know start to move around. In case you don't have one permanently attached to your tongue, you can have one there. I'm now to a position probably two to three inches below the edge of this tub here and still rising up. There's about three inches of water left in the tub. If I were a, a caregiver giving assistance to someone who needed help, this is the time to maybe put a towel around their shoulders um, so they can start drying off. Um, even maybe give them a bathrobe so they can cover themselves um, to keep their modesty. Um, as they come up out of the tub, they can start the drying process, waiting for the cushion to lift them to the right position. I can tell from experience that I'm just about to the right place. So any second now that, that air compressor will start making the bypass air noise. There we go. So the noise in the other room is going off. This is the last of the water is draining out of the tub. So with the water now completely out of the tub, I'll reach back from a distance, turn off the air compressor, set the push button off to the side where it doesn't get wet, and then stand up. Now either you can stand up from this position, you can stand up directly, or another, it's got a little trapped water inside, so it makes a squishing sound. Another optional method is to kind of scoot over to the edge of the, the tub and then step out if the person feels more comfortable doing that. Another position, another uh, option, as I said at the beginning, with the help of an assistant or by themselves, to stand up directly and keeping your balance carefully, step out of the tub and go finish getting dressed or drying off, which is what I will do right now. Okay, I am back from drying off and getting dressed. You can see that the cushion has pretty much not changed because of the, uh, the check valve keeps the air in place where it's supposed to be. So this is just a rag at this point. Take it out and set it aside to go in the laundry. You can release the air by opening this valve here, which will release the air slowly. There's another option, which I can point out now. You can use it at any time, whether you're lowering a person or deflating it completely. This hose is meant to come apart at this midpoint right here for storage. If you detach the hose right here at this point, it will release the air from the cushion more quickly. You just have to make sure that that doesn't get underneath the water because you don't want any water getting inside the tubes and the cushion. So just let that deflate. Um, what I do is just typically, you know, at this point if I were a caregiver, let that cushion sit by itself for maybe at least five to ten minutes because it's not only deflating, it's also drip drying. You can see that there's still you know, water dripping off of it. So what I tell people to do is kind of turn it on its side so the water can drain out of it as well as allowing it to deflate. Um, I have one of these, my, my parents use it and they both use it to take a bath and they told me that they don't even take it out of the bathtub. <laughs> they just they open the valve to release the air pressure and then they just let it stay in the tub because that's where they want it to be for the next use.